Hi everyone, this is Emmanuel from AirTrain. Um, I just found out about an hour ago that Sam Altman had been laid off as uh, CEO of OpenAI. Uh, this is a pretty shocking news, uh, pretty surprising. Uh, Sam Altman was hosting OpenAI Dev Day a couple weeks ago. Uh, he was talking at APEC, the big international uh, Asian Pacific conference. Um, this week in San Francisco, uh, people also report that he was at a VC event at a fireside chat yesterday and he seemed pretty uh, confident and optimistic. And this uh, blog post came out just today, a couple hours ago, OpenAI announces leadership transition and they announced that Sam Altman will depart as CEO. Um, and so this is very surprising. We don't really know what happened. So uh, this is just a hot take video to try to dig into this. I want to dig into why uh, Sam Altman could have been laid off. Obviously, we don't know. And also, what is the impact for the industry? So why was he laid off? So in the official statement, um, they mention Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid, not consistently candid. That is a uh, corporate talk for he lied. So he misrepresented or hid some information or are just plain lied. Um, obviously, we don't know uh, what he lied on. So the uh, Internet is a buzz with with theories. Uh, on one side, I hear that because it was so sudden uh, and so like overnight firing, it must be something really bad. For example, it could be, you know, embezzlement of money or harassment. Um, embezzlement of money seems fairly unlikely to me. I do not know Sam Alman personally, but he did not seem to be motivated by um, by making money in general. Uh, he's already rich from past uh, ventures, so I don't see him like, you know, trying to embezzle money. That seems unlikely to me. Uh, the next um, hypothesis is harassment. I, I have no facts or information about this, so of course it's possible. This, the suddenness of this announcement could potentially be that. Another thing could be that he uh, sort of hid information about the risks of his products to his board. So obviously everybody is worried about I know, the impact of AI on society and on the world. And GPT-4 is the most powerful model that exists. And we know that OpenAI is working on GPT-5. And so maybe in the interest of going to market faster and shipping the model faster, maybe uh, some Altman sort of hid certain security concerns. Uh, and was not willing to disclose it to the board and the board find out, found out through other sources. That's a possibility. However, again, the suddenness of the announcement and the brutality of this announcement, this, this blog post, uh, is, makes this option maybe unlikely as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, there is a, a theory going around on, uh, on Hacker News, uh, the YC News, news Board, uh, you can see right here, uh, this person says, put the pieces together. This is very speculative, probably a conspiracy theory uh, and lays out a number of events. And uh, one theory says the new release had a serious security issue, leaked a bunch of data and it wasn't disclosed, uh, but Microsoft knew about it. Again, this is possible, uh, but if that was the case, I feel like the sort of the termination process would have taken longer. They would have, uh, you know, taken the time to uh, transition things over and make a nice story around it. Even Sam Altman could have made a nice story around it instead of just being fired overnight. So again, we really don't know. Uh, there's also this tweet by Eric Schmitz, uh, one of the co-founders of Google, saying Sam Altman is a hero of mine. And he says, I and billions of people will benefit from his future work. It's going to be simply incredible. Some people are saying that maybe Sam Altman was uh, moonlighting, you know, started another company uh, without le letting the board know. Again, I f find that uh, you know, pretty speculative and probably unlikely, uh, but, but who knows. That's for the reason for his firing. Obviously, we don't know, but the suddenness of it is very mysterious. I'm sure information will trickle down in the next few weeks, uh, but for now, we don't know. So the other topic that I wanted to address is 
what impact will this have on the industry? Obviously, this is very new, but I'm already having a lot of feelings about this. When I first found out, my first impression was this is good for the industry. And I have no ill towards Sam Altman, uh, from what I can tell. He seems to be a great person, great leader, obviously. He was able to uh, build OpenAI into the company that it is today. But it is true that OpenAI has a very dominant position on the market in the AI industry. Every other company that is trying to build tools and products around AI is constantly compared to OpenAI. Why would I use your product when I can use OpenAI and so on? So it's a very dominant position. Uh, and so if there is trouble or chaos in the leadership at OpenAI, this means that uh, the industry's trust towards OpenAI uh, may decrease and so it may be easier for other players to make a dent uh, in the market. Um, so at first I thought, okay, this uh, kind of brings chaos and the kind of this leadership position that uh, Sam Altman had uh, is no longer there and so there is more room in the industry, there's more space for other players to come in. That was my first thought. Then I thought about it a little more. I had lunch. I think actually it's pretty bad for the industry and the reason is Every industry needs a, a shepherd or like a prophet or a main leader to push it through uh, difficult times. So, you know, as uh, the, the society at large is very doubtful about AI, very scared of AI, somebody like Sam Altman was a good leader to kind of push the industry forward um, and uh, be kind of like this crystallizing figure that people can identify with and, and, and think about when they think of AI. And for that, he really accelerated the AI industry by maybe 10 years, thanks to the release of GPT-4, GPT-3-4 and, and ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a consumer facing product. And so as such, it has uh, attracted the interest of uh, all of society. Everybody knows about ChatGPT from uh, elected officials, uh, people in other industries, kids, older people, everybody knows about ChatGPT and that is thanks to Sam Altman. So that's why every company out there has an AI strategy now, wants to adopt AI tools. It is thanks to um, Sam Altman's push towards uh, towards this product. Uh, so you can compare this to you know Elon Musk, you know, obviously different personalities, but without Elon Musk, uh, uh, the EV industry, the electrical vehicle industry, would probably not be what it is today uh, without Tesla. And so once again, it was a strong leadership figure in Elon Musk that was able to push the industry forward. And so Sam Altman was that for artificial intelligence. And so without such a leader to kind of crystallize uh, society's attention towards AI, uh, there might be a sort of power vacuum and so there's going to be smaller uh, sort of warlords or, or smaller chiefs that are going to try to emerge, but none of them may have the same sort of charisma and aura and clout as Sam Altman, uh, which means that there's going to be more and more maybe doubt towards AI, maybe more uh, aversion or reluctance to adopt AI tools. And so I think in the end, this is going to be a bad thing for the industry, at least thanks to Sam Altman and OpenAI, there was like one goal, which was to kind of outpace GPT-4, make do better than, than, than the GPT models. Uh, and so now it's a bit more of a free for all. And so there's not a crystallizing force. So I think at this time, and it's just been a couple hours since the announcement, I think this is not a good thing for the industry. This will um, degrade trust uh, that society had in, in AI or the little trust that it had in AI. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.